Okay, guys, for this video, we're going to review and how we're going to use inductive proximity sensor. So, right here, what I'm handing here is inductive proximity sensor. I put it right here. If you look at this inductive proximity sensor, you will see the part number LJ18A3-5-Z slash BX. So this is the part number of this inductive proximity sensor. Uh, let's look at the close lens here. Okay, this inductive proximity sensor Let's look at to the closely here, right here. So this LJ18A3-5-Z slash BX. And we turn to the this side. You see, uh, this inductive is NPN and normally open uh, five mm. So this inductive proximity sensor is normally open, and the range of the sensor is gonna be only for uh, five millimeter. And very important things again for this inductive proximity sensor is a wiring. So here is the shot from the written BN. It's a brown, brown of the wire. And here you will see there's three color wire here. And the first wire is a brown. Brown is for positive. And the second, the black. Black is for the output. This is right for the output. And number three, BU is stand for blue. Blue color wire is negative. So this inductive proximity sensor, the voltage is range from six to thirty-six voltage DC. So between six to thirty-six voltage, you can apply this proximity sensor and you must not mistakenly uh, connect to this uh, wire positive and negative so make sure you check to, make sure you check to this uh, color code of the wire brown is for positive and blue is for negative and black is for the output so you make sure your sensor wiring so that you can use your sensor safely Otherwise, if you roundly plug in your polarity, then your sensor can be damaged. And again, the important things using this sensor, the output is black wire, and the, the current holding is only for 300 milliampere. You see here is 300 milliampere. So which means you cannot uh, used directly uh, from this sensor to the loot. You can only apply it to using something like a less than 300 milliampere current loading. So which means you can just use like uh, to see a uh, small light, a small bot, something like uh, LED. Otherwise, if you want to use uh, like the solenoid or the high watt of the light, or the motor, you need to use relay. So I'm going to use this relay. So that is important. You must not use in this sensor output directly to your loot. Otherwise, your sensor gonna be damaged as well. So this allow to use only below 300 milliamp for the output. This is where I have, uh, this is supplied 12 volt. I'm gonna show you my DC voltage is 12 volt. So this wire is positive, this wire is negative. So my DC wire is 12 volt. So this trouble I'm going to use a 
let me turn off my power for safety so this side I'm just use connector right here it's positive the right wire negative the black wire so as I mentioned you must not mistake the wiring so brown is positive here so this wire is brown brown I connect to the positive right here and a second look at to this body here BU blue blue is for negative so this blue negative so I connect well, here's my relay so now the wiring is in a good condition here is 12 volt, 12 volt supply goes to the brown positive here and negative goes to the blue negative here negative of uh, proximity sensor and black wire black wire is output so we just test before we connect to the relay turn all your travel power supply and as I say as I mentioned earlier this sensor is to sense for the matter inductive proximity sensor so the range is 5 ml you just take any metal plate so we didn't get any sense yet so close to the 5 ml so 5 ml you will see the light here the plastic will not detect wood will not detect only they will detect on the metal so you sense the metal you see the back in the light here so this sensor is in good condition so since this upper is you cannot directly connect to uh, the light which is a high watt so I want to light up using this sensor. I want to light up this 240 volt SE. I'm going to use the relay. So relay is going to be 12 volt because I'm using this DC power source is 12 volt DC. So this is DC relay right here if you look at to this relay you see the coin of the inside here right here so right here is 12 volt dc and here is 8 pin 1 2 3 4 the size for 8 pin and how to use this relay is very simple if you check it in uh, my video uh, you, I have a uh, one explain uh, that how to use the this MY2 relay so since this proximity sensor is we are using 12 volt then we use 12 volt relay so here is a pin relay and here is the base for this a pin relay and you simply place to the base right here and you will see here is pin number 14 pin number 13 so pin number 13 and 14 is to the coin and here is pin number 12 pin number 9 so pin number 9 pin number 9 and pin number 12 is the common pin and this one pin number A and pin number 5 so common to this one is normally open common to normally open
so for this one we are going to use normally open the common to pin number one it's normally close common to pin number four normally close so we are going to use common to normally open which means nine to five for the loot so first of all after you place the relay we're going to connect I'm going to use a simple jumbo right here pin number 14 pin number 14 connect to positive of this 12 volt You can directly look together right here and right here this is pin number 14 pin number 14 connect to 12 volt positive and pin number 13 is connect to proximity sensor output Proximity sensor So this is uh, 12 volt positive here 12 volt negative And this is the proximity positive Proximity negative And 12 volt positive connect to Pin number 14 And output from proximity connect to pin number 13 so before we use the load the light here let's try to test our relay either it can on or not so turn on top of power supply and we try use uh, any metal plate We have a sense here. And this is AC 240 volts, the light bulb. And this one is, uh, I just used two wire here. This is neutral, this is live. If I directly connect to the power right here, see? We, we're gonna have the light here okay here's the light I turn off unplug first for safety and here this is light uh, sorry this white color is uh, neutral gable this blue color is for light gable so light gable I cut it off light gable I cut it off so light gable coming in in I connect to common pin of pin number 9 and out I connect to the common pin of sorry uh, normally opens of pin number 5 So you see clear here. So the wire ring is clear, right? So the white color is from the power source right here. The white cable is neutral, neutral, direct connected to the lamp, and the life, life connect to the common pin of relay, which is pin number 9 and the life cable out from normally opens of pin number 5 and connect to the lamp so now you can already plug to 
the plug boy right here. Okay, you plug. I will turn on the power. Let me turn on my DC power source right here. So this cable is for uh, AC 240 voltage. So we don't try to turn pass on this right here. Here is there is a AC 240 voltage. So now we test our proximity sensor. So that's all guys. Okay, thank you for watching.